talking about promotions, usually it's about getting more money. Everyone likes more money. In fact, these two ideas are often tightly coupled. More money and promotions. The only way to get more money is through a promotion. That's why you see all these different engineering positions. Eng 1, Eng 2, Eng 3, until they have to make up new positions to keep promoting people. Eng 6, Eng 7. And companies do this because they want to keep their engineers. They want to prevent them from getting poached by other companies. However, most of the time, these engineering positions have pay bans. Say, an engineer one makes between 80 and 100K, engineer twos make between 100 and 130K, and so on. This means, while you can give an engineer a raise, if they're already at the top of that band, you have to promote them in order to get them more money. For simplicity, we're just talking about base salary, but this applies to stock compensation as well. So why not just get rid of the pay bands and pay engineers whatever you need to in order to keep them? and prevent them from getting poached. Well, the pay bans exist for a reason. You don't want one engineer making 80K and another engineer of that same title, that same level position, making 150K. With this, someone can argue the case for inequality. This actually used to be the case at a lot of companies where there were just three levels, entry level, mid level, and senior level engineer. Every year, each engineer's work was evaluated and they were given a pay bump based based on their contributions. This pay bump rarely means a promotion because there are only three levels, but it is a raise. It's also where differences in pay can occur with engineers at the same level. Now, if the person determining the pay bump is biased, then this system doesn't work very well. It can be bad. This is what brought about all the different engineering levels, tying together this idea of promotions and more money. So let's say your company has 15 different engineering levels. Each level has their own pay band. If another company tries to poach your engineer and offers them double their salary, it's going to be very hard to match that or even get close to it, and you'll lose your engineer. Engineer. Another theory is to just ask someone what they want to be paid when they join, then pay them that amount. When they ask for a raise, really consider it, and then decide whether it's worth giving the employee the raise in order to keep them. Whatever thought or theory is chosen around promotions, it's a tough problem. How do you keep your engineers and pay them the right amount? And what is that right amount? Now you could say that some people want to get promoted for the title or the status or the influence. It doesn't have to do with money. However, most of the time, you can get the status and influence without being promoted. The reality of it is, if you want more money, the answer probably isn't a promotion. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Happy coding.